Ice me out. Ice me out, nigga. Ice me out. I want Tiffany. I want Angel City. I want all that shit. Y'all know I be stunting. You know I'm so worthy. I want that bust down rolly. You know diamonds make me feel so horny. Bad motherfucker. I got Louis. Hey sis, I am back with another video. And this video is Ballin' on a Budget. In my head, as y'all can see. This is a wig, y'all. Like, let's put it out there. This wig was $20. With tax and shipping, about $23. But it's a synthetic wig. I'm gonna leave the link on um, below of where you can get this wig. I got this wig from, I believe, Glamour Tress or. <sighs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm gonna get it together. I'm gonna remember. But I'm gonna leave the link in the bio. I personally. This wig is okay. There's no shedding with this wig. Um, honey, this wig is not a bad wig. The only issue that I have with this wig is that I think because my head is so round and big, sh I never get hair ever this short. So it feels weird. I feel like I look really, really round right now. So I'm sorry if I'm looking off to the camera, but I feel like I look really, really round. And I just don't like that about this wig. Um, I did cut it a little bit. I tried to salvage this wig because I, when I put it on, I didn't like how it looked on me. But I know for someone with a smaller head, this wig will be perfect for. For me personally, I probably will never get a wig this short ever again. Like, no. Um, but overall, like I said, there's no shedding with this wig. Um, if you look at the fibers of that wig, it's, um, remember, it's only $23, so you pay for what you're getting. This, um, 1 to 10 in quality, I give this wig a, definitely, a 8 or a 9. This is a Bobby Boss wig, it definitely is good quality. But... In terms of, I mean, even the closure, well, the part goes all the way back. Um, you guys probably don't notice, but what it, it gives me a hump in the back, and I think that's partly because I made my braids too big. I have thick hair, and I should have braided my hair smaller, but y'all, I was struggling with them cornrows. I was struggling. I was trying, but it didn't work out. But um, when it comes to this wig, doing the ball head cap method, I love that method. When I did it, which I'll show you the tutorial and everything um, next up on how to do it, I was in love with that. Like, but let me just put that out there. The cap method is not an hour thing. Like when I learned how to do it, I thought it was a joke when she said I was gonna take a good three four hours it's not a joke three four hours to put that cap on make sure everything is dry and then you can apply the wig like i said i'm definitely gonna try the um, the cap method again definitely i'm gonna try on a wig that i actually like um this i'm not saying that i dislike this wig because it's a good wig um <coughs> and if you need something quick you took your hair out and you need to throw something on this wig is definitely where it's at in terms of that, I should have got the longer one. I'm going to leave the link in the bio for the longer one, too. Just understand, it is $23. You pay for what you get. Um, I'm just out here just trying to show y'all some affordable wigs. In terms of other things, I'm going to be bringing like other wigs and other hairstyles and things you could do on a budget. So, y'all look out for that. And my makeup. <laughs> I did my makeup myself. I'm really impressed with the y'all. I even put a wing liner in that bitch. And I have never. I do wing liners, but they're pretty hard. I also feel like I'm rambling a lot, and I'm sorry. Hey, my lovely. So the first thing you're going to need is a blow dryer. You're going to need some got to be glue, some um, foundation, a cap. What I normally do um, is put some 
anti-dandruff cream on my scalp. So that's what you see me luring on there. And then you're going to go ahead and just go ahead and put all of that got to be glue on your edges in the front of your hair and lay them babies down. And once you do that, you're going to go ahead and put your cap on. Once you go ahead and put your cap on, go ahead and just fit it to make sure it fits nicely and make sure you put it over your head. Keep that in mind. Put it over your, not over your head, over your um ears. You're going to go ahead and use the got to be glue and put it all over the front of your head. Um, make sure you're putting a good amount around there and go ahead and start blow drying it. You want it to be completely dry before you add any type of second layer. Once it is completely dry, you're going to go ahead and add that second layer all over your head. Um, and make sure you put a good amount on that second layer. Now it's the cutting time. And just be careful not to cut that um, the area that has the glue on there. It got to be glue. Try to be very careful when cutting this um, portion of the hair and go all around it. If you need to, if you need more space, um, you'll see I go ahead and cut a bit more close to where the got to be glue is. And be careful of your ears. But at this point, you're going to go ahead and try on that wig. Make sure it is fitting perfectly and that you like how it is before you go ahead and put um, the got to be glue on there. Um, I usually spend a few seconds just to try it on, brush it out, make sure I want it. I have the cap um, exactly how I want it. Next, you're going to go ahead and add that got to be glue um, to the front of the cap. You're not going to let this one dry all the way. You're going to let that, that baby be tacky. And then you're going to go ahead and put that wig on. The part I hate most, creating your baby hairs. As you can see, I'm trying to raise her out a good amount of baby hairs for the style that I want. When it comes to synthetic wigs, it's hard to make baby hairs because it is synthetic hair. But as you can see, you're going to go ahead and see me lay my baby hairs down and cover it with the scarf. Let that, um, go ahead and let it dry. Take the scarf off. And then you're going to go ahead and just start styling your wig. Um, and just, if you have to go back and fix anything, that's the perfect time to do it. And just really see how you like it. With this, um, cap method, you, I know for a fact they say you get a good week or two out of it. Um, we'll see. Right now, it's not moving. It is stuck on here, y'all. It's not going nowhere. I don't think I can get into a fight with it, but... The front ain't going nowhere. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions on this wig, any suggestions on wigs you want me to try for the low, uh, I'm going to keep on going with this series of wigs on the on a budget. So for anybody who can afford, you know, to get them nice frontal wigs or those nice closure wigs, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have y'all. I'm going to get y'all right. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. <laughs> You guys have a good day, weekend, whatever time you're watching this. And, bye.